hello, Deb here from the vlog Seeking Lavender Lane and today we are going to be decorating a bar cart. So um, just a little breakdown while everyone kind of piles into the live video. Say hi when you guys pop in, share where you're watching from, and then be sure to share this with a friend. So I think we could all say that summertime is the perfect time to have a bar cart, especially for outside. So we are here right on my deck and I have this bar cart that I got last year from Kirkland's. I love it. It's so, so cute. It's got this cute little bistro pattern and I just absolutely adore it. Hey Maureen. Hey Doris. Uh, so just to give you a little breakdown on what we're doing. So I'm going to be popping in every Monday and I'm going to be doing either a live video or a video for you to um, that it's pre-recorded. So I've been sharing this in my home healing group every single Monday. They are called our doses. So every week I'm encouraging women to try something totally different in their homes to be able to um, try something creative, whether that's with cooking or styling or um, crafting, all of it. So I know a few of the ladies are popping in. Hey, Rachel. Um, and I am going to be sharing this on the group. If you're interested in, in joining the group, you can just send me a little DM and I will invite you. The group is great because we have a great little community of women there and also we have a share thread. So on Sundays, you'll share your version of the bar cart and that enters you into our um, monthly giveaway. So today we're going to decorate this bar cart. It's, it's a little beat up. It's got, it's been loved a little bit because it's been left out in the rain. So. Um, but anyway, it's still really adorable and um, so I styled it already just to kind of explore some ideas. I'm going to share some great tips with you on how to style bar cart. Um, so this one has some alcohol, so you don't have to do one with alcohol. You could do it with, um, you know, you could do tea or lemonade. Um, you could do a children's bar cart. You could do um, a themed bar cart. There's so many things that you could do and you could go on Pinterest and there's a million different ideas. So I'm kind of sticking to a color theme today. Um, I do have my bottles down here of some of the alcohol. I think what's really cool about um, different like alcohol and liquor, it's that their bottles could be really, really cool. So I would say look for some really pretty bottles when styling. And so I just added those down below just to give it a little pop of color and I love all the, the glass elements. Say hi when you guys pop in. Today we're styling a bar cart. If you're just popping in now, um, be sure to share this with a friend and just type the word share below. So we're gonna start at the top. Now, this one's got a little give to it, so it's not super solid. So I already got myself a tray to put on top here. I think a tray is good for one, for solid surfaces so nothing spills, but also for um, grounding things. So when you're decorating, just like anything else, you want to ground um, certain um, materials together. So we're going to ground some glasses. So let me grab that. I don't need to drop this. My waitress skills are not very good. So I have this black tray here, which I love because it goes along with the cart. So we have black and white in the cart and it's just the cutest little tray. And so I actually decided, I already put my glasses on ahead of time, so I grabbed all different glassware. And I think, hi Sonia, hi Crystal, hi Ashley. So um, I thought this would be really fun to, instead of having all the same types of glasses, mixing my glasses, uh, which I think is also good if you're gonna offer different drinks for your guests. So if somebody just wants to choose water, you can have a water glass someone wants to make themselves a martini, you can have a martini glass. So I think that's kind of fun. And I kind of staggered it in a way where um, all the different heights, you can see all the different heights on the tray. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. How is that so far? Can you see? Thanks, Anya. Okay, so then um, I think an essential item for your bar cart is always some water. So I have that in this decanter. And I'm just going to add that back here. So I was feeling like when I was decorating this earlier today that I was looking like a little too much glass. So one of my best tips when decorating anything is that you want to have different textures. So if, you're ha if you have too much glass going on, you want to add different elements to it. Um, it just layers your look. So 
For here, I like that the glass is different, so that gives it one layer, but adding this glass back here kind of just feels a little flat. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I don't have like um, an enamel or ceramic type of decanter, so I left it, but I'm adding a pop of color. So I got this um, Tangare bottle, and I love it because it, it's green, and so my color theme is gonna play off of this bottle, which is going to be green and a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna add this right here, so this way it just gives it a nice little, a little pop of green, so it doesn't feel too flat. Um, hopefully you guys can see that okay. So now we have our tray of glasses, and so next thing we're gonna add is a little decorative touch, of course. So not everything on here has to be practical. I would suggest doing um, some definitely practical pieces, something that you're going to actually use on a bar cart, but then also adding some decorative touches is totally okay, and that's what's going to really elevate your bar cart. So, what we're going to do is my favorite, I always love adding a little bit of vintage, and since I have a little bit of green, I am using green books. So, it's going to play off of our Tangare bottle. And I'm going to add this little bit of pop of green right here. And so I don't know if you guys caught my Instagram uh, picture last night, but I got this dill from the garden and it smells so good. I just love it. So um, I decided you could add any type of fresh flowers or plant to your, um, your bar cart just to give it a little pop of something and flowers always, it always does it. So since I already had this on hand, and I love the yellow, and I, and I love how yellow and green pairs together, I am just going to add that right to the back there. Now, I use the books because, one, to give it some more color um, and texture, and of course I love anything vintage, so bring all the vintage in, but also just to give it some height. So if I put the and I talk about this a lot, you wanna stagger your height. So if I just put that there, it would look so flat. It needs a little bit of height and a little bit of color and texture, and that looks so much better. So we're working in sections here. So I am gonna do three sections on the top, so that means I need one more element, and we're gonna bring in just a little bit more color. So, I have some limes. Hi, Sierra. So I love uh, using fruits and vegetables. My home healers, they know this because we've shared all about this last month. We were talking all about decorating with fruits and vegetables. It was our farmer's market theme. And so um, a bowl full of limes is so fun for a bar cart. And of course, a little bit of vintage. So I am adding that right to the front there, and I love how this looks so far. So we have green, lots of green, glass, now we brought some metal in, and then of course I always love like layering a napkin because that just adds our layer element. We're probably not going to use all those limes, but it's nice for, for decoration. So if you're having family or friends over, this is just a great way to um, make it look inviting. So now let's move on to the bottom because you don't want to neglect your bottom of your bar cart. So like I said, I started with some bottles. Hopefully you guys could see that really well. And I just like the bottles, not to make us look like we're lushes or anything, but like just, I love the look of these bottles. I think they just add something to your cart. So um, you could do all different kinds of wine or um, even another one, which I was actually going to run out earlier to get today. But then I saw the Tangare bottle and I figured I could play off of that is using like those Pellegrino bottles. I love them. I love them in any type of decorating. So I usually bring them out for spring and summer decorating because we love drinking Pellegrino water here. And um, the bottles just always look so cute. So you could always add that as well. So the bottom, what we're going to do is, um, let me tear this down. I am going to get my favorite, a breadboard. So these are essential when styling in your home, especially in your kitchen or your dining space. So um, a breadboard, you could do your charcuterie boards on here, but you could also use them as 
texture because they bring that wood element in and they add a little height to anything you're gonna do. So we're gonna put this on the bottom and I chose to do it on an angle here. So I think it just invites you to look at what's on your bar cart. Hopefully you guys can, can you see that okay on the bottom? It's hard because I have the comments. I think so, okay. So we're gonna put that on the bottom and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some dishes. So I'm thinking probably cocktail party for this. So you don't need your big dishes, anything small. So if you put some apps out, these are great to just grab. It's also just gonna give your cart some interest. So I already have just like these cream colored dishes and we're gonna add them to the bottom. I'm gonna put them kind of towards the back here. And then here's our texture. We're gonna add some napkins. Now, believe it or not, I do not have cocktail napkins, which after styling this cart, I realized I should order myself some cocktail napkins. Um, so cocktail napkins would be perfect and they have some really beautiful linen cocktail napkins out there and um, you do monogrammed ones, anything like that, um, which would be really cute for a themed party. Um, I don't have any, so I just folded these so they look like cocktail napkins. I'm gonna put those in the back so those are stacked, so those are something purposeful so you could grab them and they're adding our texture element. So I put those in the back and um, then I'm gonna add some spoons for just this way if somebody wants to grab some ice or um, stir their drink, anything like that. I'm gonna add those on the bottom and they also give us that little bit of metal. So we're adding that into um, the look. And then I have a few more things. Here comes my vintage again, an ice bucket. I love this ice bucket. So I don't have any ice in it right now, but add some ice in here and I'm gonna add that here so this also gives it height down here of course as you start using your bar cart you'll probably move it so you can use your dishes and everything but for now this makes it look really really pretty and then here comes our metal and this is purposeful of course if you're doing a cocktail party is your shaker so I'm gonna add this and you can see that I've used a lot of silver so we have a little bit of black, but we've used a lot of silver in here, so we're just playing with a lot of silver. You could either, either mix your metals, which I love doing, or you could just play off the same metals. Um, there is no rules to it. I would say just don't overdo it. So make sure you have at least two of the same. So if you're doing silver, have at least two silver before you add a gold, if that makes sense. So we're gonna add this, and I'm gonna put that in the back here for our little bit of silver and a little height back there because that's tall so it can stand in the back. And then our last little bit is our um, coasters. So I have these cute little marble coasters and I'm gonna add those right on the bottom here and I have them kind of fanned out so they don't look like they're just in a pile. I think having them fanned out, you can really see the shape of them and they just look playful at the bottom same thing with our spoons I didn't just put them in the, like a pile you could always put your spoons in like a little jar or something but I have them just kind of overlapping each other so that's kind of it for the bar cart um, I love how it looks together it just feels inviting um, you know I feel like you just want to come and just cut open your lines and um, pour yourself a drink it just looks super inviting so a few things just to cover over what we did. We made sure to have our different heights, which is so important. And obviously something like this is probably gonna go against a wall. So you wanna have your height higher in the back um, and slightly staggered. You wanna mix your materials. So we have glass, we have stone, we have fabric. I brought some wood in and books. So you wanna make sure you're mixing your textures and um, if you're using metals, you could either mix your metals or you go and embrace one metal. And um, just make sure that when you're doing this, you're gonna use things that are purposeful so that you're really gonna use in a bar cart. And then you could use things that are also decorative just to bring it to that next level. So um, I hope you guys really love this. This is so easy. It kind of goes along with all those rules 
that I use when decorating. Um, so I kind of always stick to the same rules and then I just incorporate them whether I'm doing a bar cart or a coffee table or an island, so all of it. Um, so if you guys are interested in joining our home healing group, our videos will be here on my regular Facebook page here on out every Monday and I'll be giving you guys a heads up when they are coming out. And um, if you join the home healing group, we have a great community over there and we do a weekly share thread so you could show how your bar cart was styled this coming Sunday. So let me see what other, if we have any questions. Ah, thanks Maureen. Thanks Sonia. Hi Mary. Where did you get that? Part? Okay, so my bar cart is from Kirkland's last year. Uh, I'm not sure if they still sell it this year, but it was such a good find. The only thing is it doesn't do super well um, outside. So I keep it out here, but it's starting to get a little like rot here from being in the rain. So I really, sh it's probably better to keep it inside when we don't have good weather. All right, you guys, I hope you love that. Be sure to share this with a friend. And if you're interested in joining Home Healing, um, send me a message. I'd love to have you part of our growing community over there. Have a great rest of your day.